Hello, hello, hello. there. Kyle Katarn here. I'm the man new. Reacting to Star Wars Visions. Right. Season 2. Shout out to Nerd Chronic for editing this reaction for us and sneaking it past the Disney blockade. Yes, Steel Book is phenomenal, sir. And speaking of phenomenal, this season has been really knocking out of the park. Like, right? we're four episodes in, and, like, I'm already enjoying this. Like, I'm not going to say I'm enjoying it more than season one, but a lot of these episodes have just been, like, fucking knocking it out of the park like every single fucking i think time. i feel like season two is elevating season one for me honestly it's taking all of visions and putting it on a higher a higher pedestal than it was in terms of quality you know like a season one was excellent but they're just widening the scope now that's um, true all three of these episodes that we've watched so far have kicked my ass the first one was was super powerful uh, the second one was terrifying and the third one actually made me cry which never happens to me during reactions like that was a really sad story. Yeah. Um, and now we're on to something a little different. This one comes from Studio Ardman, uh, the studio that did Wallace and Gromit and Shaun the Sheep and all of those. So I'm actually really excited for this. I grew up watching Wallace and Gromit, and I love that animation. I love that studio. Um, so I'm really excited to get this one going. Yeah, so this one is called I Am Your Mother. Uh, nice. <laughs> young, young pilot. I am your mother. I am your mother. Uh, young pilot Annie, embarrassed by her clingy mom, must team up with her on a wild Madcap Academy race. Oh my god. That sounds so Wallace and Gromit. <laughs> I have no yeah, no, this I can't wait. Shit. And it's only 13 minutes. So, like, I'm just... I am your mother. It makes me think of Cyril Karn from Andor and his yeah. mom while he's eating cereal, oh, just yelling at him. Who's the worst <laughs> Star Wars mother I think that we've seen so far? Uh, worth slash best. She she would have fit in in The Sopranos, I think. Oh my god. Do it! Alright, Ardman, what did you bring for us on this Star Wars day? And it's always like, like all of these stories can easily be canon and easily be non-canon too. Like, that's what- This is your final call for the end of year family race of the- That's Wedge Antilles, bro. Hannah City, oh my god. Look at this city! This is With great! their families? It's a straight up fucking family. That's legit, that's Dennis Lawson, dude. That's the actual Wedge Antilles it's voice. Wedge Antilles! This oh my god. Jawa. <laughs> Ootini. Ootini. Jawas are even cuter in stop motion. She's got a Max Rebo plushie, dude. That's her mom? Oh my god, she does have a Max Rebo plushie. Ooh, and a Harrison Dula poster. That's awesome. Oh my god, and the rocket from Tintin! That's the rocket from Tintin when the moon's made of cheese! Why did I say Tintin? I obviously meant Wallace and Gromit. I'm an idiot. Is mom building? What the fuck is this? Like, this Mando welding mask? That's hilarious. I mean, uh, not me. You all right? And she's just making an astromech? Nice. What the what? fuck? He's like a doggy? <laughs> red two to red leader. Do you copy? Aww. Copy that red two. This is red leader. Here Aww. comes the Ryleth roll. <laughs> right. Uh, I've got to go. I love that Z one has his little head panels up like their dog ears. I made lunch for you. Ta-da! Oh. Nice. Excellent. The red bread. Oh my God! It turned into bread. Welcome to the oh. What the fuck is that? Is that a black Look at that dude, it's like a Nubian, loser. it's like a blacked out Nubian. Yeah. Uh, Mom couldn't make it. But it's our first family this doesn't even feel like a reimagining, dude. This feels like authentic Star Wars. Like Star Wars just lends itself to this animation style so much. It's a shame. I was looking forward to racing your what was it? Flying porta potty? Space tug, actually. That's it. Oh, she's totally the mean girl bitch who yeah, has the blacked out Nubian. She's the bully. She's got the fancy ship, I bet. Oh my god, your mom's Mother's horrible. Here. Duty goals. I love it. She's got the same pose as her mom. <laughs> Dude, her mom looks like a fucking inquisitor. She's a total. <laughs> they said bitch. Oh, little baby, baby Wookiee. Wookie. With a pacifier. <laughs> They locked the fucking door. Obviously, the bad guys have the coolest looking ships. But... Dude, that was the fucking vending machine from the Moon of the Cheese. All of these. Look like... at behind her, over her left shoulder. I looked like a gonk droid that was made out. Wait, of what? Oven. Oh my! 
Oh my. Where did that come from? It's totally a gonk oven droid. Oh my god, you're on the starting line! Get out of there! <laughs> oh, that's sick. The ship next to the black one is uh, the Mantis from Jedi Fallen Order. Same style. So the ship is their house. So, what's happening? Well, everyone's bearing here. Sorry for the delay, family race folks. Can you come back later? Clean up will be after the race. I I'm not here to work. Annie, can you get your porta potty off the starting line? Thank you. Hey? Don't worry, we're leaving. Aww. Nah, mom's gonna come through. Mom, mom's not to be messed with. I feel like she's she's got a plan. Why are we strapping in? We are just moving the ship, aren't we? Go! No, mom is racing. She's like, ain't nobody talks to my daughter like that. Let's go. Oh no! <laughs> Fuck! She's, that's death. That's death right there. They're going so fast. Can we please just stop? This is crazy. What racing? Oh, the fact you kept this entire event a secret. Yeah, girl, what were you thinking? Your mom loves you so much. Are you embarrassed oh, by your mom because your mom has a blue collar job? Is that what it is? The Wookiees are so chaotic. I know. <laughs> this piece of old junk is embarrassing. You, you are embarrassing. Ooh. Oh, sweetheart. Is that how you really feel? Your mom's so nice to you. What the fuck? I get it, though. That's like, that's teenage rebellion. Do it. Do it. What the hell? Futurama. No, Z1's on the front. What the hell? Z1, activate the stabilizers. Huh? Z1. Z1's out front. No! Take the controls. Me. Oh, my God. She going out there? I can't fly this. Yes, you can. You're a pilot. Yes, you can. You oh, your mom believes in you. Too. Oh, this one's heartwarming. Jesus. Not so bad for a bit of old drunk, hey, Mom. How the hell did she hang on? Said what? Mom! What are you calling a bit of old drunk? <laughs> oh my god, mom's crazy. <laughs> Those oh, that's right, and Z1 has the retractable cable. She can just yank it and it'll coil back up, right? Ah, oh, that red sky. Oh my god. Is that a tiny what? Death Star? What? You got a Death Star on a stick? What the fuck? Bro, they're totally inquisitor. Mom's <laughs> totally a fucking inquisitor. <laughs> what a bitch. Nah, they're just old money. They got that Imperial money. I like how her hairdo looks like Darth Vader's helmet. Both of them. And the fact that the that the other person's name is Annie, like... Okay, now you're just firing fucking blasters at them? Like, how is the race not intervening? Second place is last place. Give it to me. Mommy, I'm trying! Mommy! <laughs> I am your mother! Hold on. Here comes the Ryloth roll. The Ryloth roll? Let's go! It's fucking stupid. It's just, it just a with a girl roll? city by accident. It's a fucking... <laughs> it's a gainer. It's making the ship do it. Yeah, gainer. they're doing a fucking gainer in a ship right now. Oh! <laughs> okay, that shit is totaled. Are you kidding me? That's, my go. That's amazing. She used the Ryloth roll to get her mom on top of it. <laughs> they don't even get to, they don't get, even get a place. Fucked. They don't even get dignified with a place. So, Who few things at your fancy academy then <laughs> i've learned a lot from you mom no i'm sorry i should have told you about the race even if you can be a little bit embarrassed no nah, mom gets it she was a teenager trying to be cool once too i'm sure i am your mother there it is oh, yeah that's the title that one was great that was a total like total oh, shift from the last three it was lighthearted. Really? It was funny. It was like really? heartwarming. It had a good message. That was def. That the was definitely. Voice acting was phenomenal. Right. I can't believe it. Wedge Antilles got more lines in this than he had in the original trilogy. <laughs> That's funny. 
That's fucking like, funny. He had more dialogue here than he has in the rest of Star Wars. That's Amazing. fucking funny. Oh, so I feel like I feel like Aardman Studios can't fail. Like everything they do is 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 phenomenal to me, and it helps that I have like the nostalgia power of I grew up looking at this style, so like it kind of hits me in my in my inner kid like right away. But this was just it like good in it so right well. Too. It converted so easily and so all the well. alien races look like Wallace and Gromit fucking figures anyway, walking around like the big dumb rubber heads. Like it it just translated and it it didn't feel like a reimagining. It felt like oh yeah, we've just switched to a different to a different animation style but it's exactly the same universe the it wasn't Wookie like a retelling was it was just hilarious. this is going on yeah the Wookiee family and, was absolutely hilarious yeah they were absolute chaos oh. i love that the baby was just like in with the pacifier just chilling and then makes eye contact with the aliens and he's like oh, fuck it, you know like pulls the arms off the door <laughs> And yeah, there, there was a little red rocket ship in, in the house in the first scene. That's totally the rocket that Wallace and Gromit fly to the moon. And then the vending machine on the moon was in the stands behind her during the race, too. So, like, there was two Wallace and Gromit cameos in there. There might have been more, but those are the two that I got. That's hilarious. That was great. That, I think that's the shortest one. That one was only 13 minutes long. I think that's our shortest Visions episode this season. Tis true. Tis true. Let me take a look here. Because uh, Screecher's um, Reach was 14. Um, and that was that was the shortest. Also pretty short. Yeah. Which is kind of ironic because the next one we're going to see, episode five, Journey to the Dark Head, is 20 minutes. Ooh. And it well, also is that. like more so right the, middle, the middle of the season. So I feel like this is going to be a, a hitter episode. So stay tuned. We, yeah. Now, now that we've had um, two really two really intense ones, a really sad one, and a really funny one, I don't know what to expect moving forward now. It could really be a little bit of anything. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed our reactions to Star Wars Vision Season 2, Episode 3, or Season 2, four. Episode 4, I Am Your Mother. Um, we're going to be continuing to react to the rest of the season right here, so don't go anywhere. The reactions are coming soon. They'll be dropping on YouTube, but if you don't want to wait for them, the full-length, uncut versions of all of these reactions are available on Patreon, so you can check that out as well. There's a link in the description of the video to the Patreon page. Thanks again, and as always, May the force be with you.